help me, class? Today we're going to watch a video on Journeys of Discovery. We're also going to complete a geography flashcard. Instead of just watching the video, though, there's going to be step-by-step -step instructions along the way for you to complete your flashcard. Before we get started, let's see what we're going to need. Alright, you're going to need your classroom atlas along with your textbook. Another key part is a geography flashcard. You should have a map on the front and some lines on the back. You're going to need a number of pens. Start with a black one, add some more colors, green, purple, blue, red, whatever you want. Got it? Alright, let's go. Once was a man, his name was Magellan, a Portuguese skipper, the girls found him cute. He so who was this Magellan? No, not that Magellan. Ferdinand Magellan. Alright, let me stop you right there. Before we go any further, we need to set up our flashcard so we can complete all the information. Using a ruler, draw a straight line about four lines down, then make it into a T-chart. We're going to write our title, Ferdinand Magellan, at the top. And then start off by writing, wait, no, we don't need that yet. Let's go back. So who is this guy? Well, Ferdinand Magellan was born in Portugal in 1480. His parents died at a young age, and he worked for the queen for a while. For a time, he worked in India, under Alfonso Albuquerque. Later, he moved to Malacca, but left on difficult terms. While he was in Morocco, he was accused of illegally trading with the Moors. So that took him to Spain, which at the time was Portugal's enemy. That's a Magellan, the Portuguese, ended up working and sailing for his rival Spain. In Spain, he unleashed his grand plan and went to sail all the way around the world. He had two reasons. First, he wanted to be the first to circumnavigate the Earth. And second, he was looking for a faster route to the spices in East Indies. But did he make it? Let's find out. They sailed due west to the Philippine Islands Magellan was pleased as the natives drew near But then someone shouted I think they're attacking Magellan said What? And got hit by a spear Magellan was killed in the Philippines But his crew carried on Okay, now we know something about Magellan Let's fill out the back of our flashcard All the biographical details We're gonna put where he was born 1480 in Portugal Who he sailed for And his major purpose also, when he died. Down here, we're going to add his motivations, the two main reasons he went on his famous voyage. Those were for spices, and to be the first. On this side, we're going to add the places he visited along the way. We haven't talked about that yet, so I'm going to leave that one blurred. Magellan started his journey in Spain, and there he traveled across the Atlantic to Brazil. There was a minor revolution there, but it failed. From Brazil, he headed to Tierra de Fuego, or the southern tip of Argentina. They even named a strait after him, the Strait of Magellan. It was a five-month journey across the Pacific, and he arrived in the island of Guam, which he called the Island of Sails. Just a short trip there to the Philippines. It was in the Philippines where he got involved in some local fights, and he met his end. The crew continued onward, though, south to Jakarta, the capital of the Spice Islands. From there, they had to navigate across the Indian Ocean, finally reaching the Cape of Good Hope. After they rounded Africa, it wasn't very far until they returned back to Spain. All they had to do was avoid the Portuguese ships might be looking for them. From Cape Verde, he arrived back in Spain. Not to interrupt you again, but let's pause here so we can complete our map. Just like in the video, we're going to retrace Magellan's journey. He started in Spain, down to Brazil, around the tip of South America, across the Pacific to Guam, the Philippines, through the Spice Islands, around Africa, and then home to Spain. We also should add some points of interest. Here, in the Philippines, Magellan was killed. In Brazil, there was a revolt, a failed attempt at revolution. In the middle of the Pacific, the crew thought they might have seen some sea monsters, but it was probably just flying fish. Keep in mind, they still had to avoid the Portuguese sailors. Spain was still Portugal's enemy. And there you have it, a complete geography flashcard. 
case our flashcard is complete. We've got all the important information, including a map and the key biographical details. Looks like we're done for today. We'll see you next time. Ah.